Because what we're going to do here is we're going to bring back Battle of Frost and Fire, sacrificing our Meat Hook Massacre, and Greater Tanuki's not going to die. Goodbye. What's up, Jamers? This is the one Jamin here with another Kami War deck for you. Now, this is a completely different build than we did the last time. If you watched my last YouTube video two videos ago, we made this deck with a more ramp shell, playing a lot of green cards in the beginning of the curve and things like that. Now we're playing a more control build, and I think I like this deck even better. One of the sleeper cards in the set, I think, is Record or Bank Buster. This card is absolutely busted, no pun intended. It is a 4-4 vehicle and it enters with three charges charge counters on it and you can pay two mana tap it basically like a maze mind tome and draw a card so you get three draws out of it and afterwards you get a one one and a treasure token so we're going to utilize that for card advantage in our control deck along with behold the multiverse and some removal spells and meat hook massacre binding the old gods kami war battle of frost and fire colossal turtle can bounce things as well a couple power word kills in infernal grass for instant speed interaction because i feel like you need that in a control shell and a little uh, sneaky, sneaky counter spell. Um, other than that, we have some ramp packages in Greta Tanuki and the Celestis. Soul Shatter for Goldspan Dragons and other creature lands. But other than that, this deck is going to be utilizing a control shell to control the game. And then the Kami War to take over with a 6 6 dragon. We have a couple things in the sideboard, like a couple copies of Skeletal Swarming that you can try out in Best of One. You can also get this back out of your graveyard with the Spirit Sisters Call sacrificing Meat Hook Massacre, Binding the Old Gods, or whatever, to bring this back out of your graveyard if it gets died or counter gets countered. But, let's go ahead and get into the matches. I'm super excited about this deck. It's my favorite version of the Kami War, and it all starts right now. Just to tell her that her deck was impressive. All right. I don't have Red Banner right now, but I do have some interaction. This is what we like to see. Power Word Kill. Bounce Spell, Bounce Spell. Or maybe like a regrowth for Power Word Kill if we need to. Luminar Casperant. Okay, sure. Do we bounce with Sky Turtle or do we just Power Word Kill? I think we just Power Word Kill. I guess it depends on what they do. Long time is today. All right, so I guess we're just gonna Arctic Tree Line tap and then use either one of these, potentially, or do we Soul Shatter or something? I think we actually play an untapped land here, so I'm gonna play an untapped White Source. Just in case they play something we need to Soul Shatter. What do they have here? They have they have a nice looking rope. That's what they have. A nice looking rope. But hey, I think we should be okay in this game. If we don't have to use the Colossal Sky Turtles, we can cast them for seven mana anyway. That's what I really like about the interactive cards in this deck and the ramp cards like Greater Tanuki. Not only does it ramp, but it also just is a 6-5 trampler on turn six. Not only does a Colossal Sky Turtle provide for bouncing and interaction, it's also regrowth for the channel ability here. Two and a green, discard it, add any card from grave to hand. It's also just a flying war 2-6-5. So it's like part of the curve, and it also is the payoff. Yeah, 
Yeah, can the opponent please play a card today? Not tomorrow. Today would be great, opponent. Adeline. I can just bounce this. Or I can just battle Frost and Fire. I kind of want to keep Soul Shatter for the Planeswalker. Um, I kind of want to battle Frost and... F I, I'm just going to... Mm, I'm going to grasp it. We don't have red mana right now for Battle of Frost and Fire. But we can we can bounce a couple things and we have just any interaction for what they have. Do I play Wandering Mind? I don't play Wandering Mind. Is that an enchantment creature? If it is, I'll think about it. Wandering Mind doesn't get to Colossal Sky Turtle, and it also doesn't get to Greater Shinuki, so I don't know if I want to play that. Also, I'm not playing enough red mana to play Wandering Mind, I don't think. So I'd have to have red on turn 3, and right now my red cards are all on turn 5 and 6. I think this is the Planeswalker. Right now, it's not worth regrowthing for anything. Right, they did not play the Planeswalker. Right now, I just need to hit my land drops. Land drop, and it's red mana. Perfect. Pass. Like, this is more of a controlling build anyway, so I kind of want to be doing this. Caretaker. That's a Soul Shatter target, if I've ever seen one myself. And I can also regrowth for Soul Shatter later on. Land drop is good. And I can even I can even sc another Adeline, okay. I think I'm just gonna go with Infernal Grasping this. Then I can regrowth something. Why don't we regrowth Soul Shatter? I don't need to regrowth anything right now, though. Could be the Planeswalker. I think I'm just going to cast the Sky Turtle, though. Because they it's Ward anyway, so they can't, like, exile this. The Planeswalker only exiles tapped creatures anyways. So, I think we're in a go okay spot to cast this. One thing also that I like about this deck is that Battle of Frost and Fire doesn't kill my Colossal Turtles since it only does 4 damage. And it also doesn't kill Greater Tanuki because that's also 5 toughness. We'll see if they have a Fateful Absence if they try to kill this. And I think I'll be okay with that. Yep. The cool thing about this deck, though, is that if I, when I draw a uh, Sisters, the five mana enchantment, I can bring this back. Kahilda. Matilda, I mean. Or Werewolves, Brulkathar. Okay. They're falling right into my Meat Hook Massacre trap. So I can Meat Hook for two. Leave my blue mana open for Colossal Sky Turtle ability. If I really need to use it.
Probably should have meat hooked for three just in case there's a snake skin veil, to be honest. Caretaker. Okay. This is going to be a regrowth for Soul Shatter. Or I can just battle with Frost and Fire, right? I'm going to battle with Frost and Fire, actually. I should leave my blue mana up for Colossal Sky Turtle's ability. Actually, I can't because Battle of Frost and Fire takes blue mana. But I can also use Sky Turtle for a regrowth of um, Soul Shatter and Frontal Grass for a Power Word kill. But I can just do that next turn. I'll just foretell this this turn. Yeah, that's our second blue mana. All right, all of those are good. I'll just keep slamming threats then. I'll do this so I can play two spells in a turn to get it off of nighttime. All right, this works out for me. I'll draw both of those. Ranger Glass. Okay, I have Binding for that. Negate. Uh, if I if I battle Frost and Fire, I draw two discard two this turn. Or draw two discard one. Which I think I'm going to be doing. And then I can just Binding after. Perfect. Where are all the comas? I'm not playing coma. It's not an enchantment. Search for forest. We're going to get the... I guess our only forest in the deck. Scry three. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so what we can do here is we can Bank Buster. This is going to be good. This is going to be great. We can draw a card. This draws our Kami War. Then we cast Kami War. Exiling Hopeful Initiate. And then next turn, Battle of Frost and Fire is going to go to Chapter 3 again. Then we have Colossal Turtle and Greater Tanuki to draw four discard two. If we can cast all of them. If I draw an untapped land, I can. It's not an untap line. Look at these triggers! Um, I'll return Meat Hook Massacre back to my hand, thank you. Discard a card. Another Fateful Absence, sure. I will... Meat Hook... Hmm... Meat Hook Massacre for two. This is going to be sick. Pass Greater Tanuki. Draw two, discard one. Don't need Celestis anymore. Light Blue Mana to hold up Negate. 
And, and this and this thing. Crew three. Spirit Tanuki. Boom. Bada bing. Attack for four. Absolute domination. That's good. We have a turn two play. All right, so we go Arctic Tree Line. Arc Channel on blue. Behold the multiverse. And then we can go Clearwater on Black Celestis. And then we can Binding the Old Gods to the Luminarch next turn. Or two turns from now. It's going to be hard to meet Hook with the Luminarch on board, though. At least we have Binding. Okay, double Luminarch. I might be able to, to tag something here. Okay, I guess we're just gonna like double, we're just gonna binding the Adeline, I guess. Wait, if, oh, that's a good card. Although Adeline probably still kills us. Wait, if we meet hook for three, we gain one, two, three, four life. We go to eight. I think we meet hook for three. And then hopefully they can't kill us with Adeline, and then we can binding it or battle it. No, we can't battle it. We have to binding it. Most they can do right now is five, right? Three, four, and then the one, one. Six. We might survive if Adeline dies. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay, life gain from Meat Hook Master coming up here. Celestis, Celestis coming up here as well. Discarding Tanuki is relevant. Let's get a red mana here. Discarding Tanuki is relevant because I can bring it back with Spirit Sisters Call. Hopefully this works. If they have the Planeswalker, I'm dead. Does the Planeswalker can make, can make a 2-2? The Wanderer? Oh, wait. Oh, they're going to draw a card. Okay, well, that's kind of good for me, right? Did you play this deck in Alchemy? Oh, yeah, yeah you can play this deck in Alchemy. Oh, my gosh, they did nothing. Whoa, are you saying are you saying we're stabilizing? Is that what you're saying? So now we go land spirit sisters call. Behold the multiverse. 
to turn it back to daytime so we get in, gain another life with Celestis. Meat Hook, Infernal Grasp, I'll take both, thank you. And then what we can do is we can bring back the Greater Tanuki, sacrificing Battle of Frost and Fire. They have a blocker just in case they have a flash threat. Celestis, that's gonna loot. Are we looting? Guess so. Caretaker. Okay. Soul Shatter. Meat Hook. Alright, so what we do here is... Meat Hook for four. Wait. No. No. No, 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 no. We just passed turn. Yeah, that's what we do. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to bring back Battle of Frost and Fire, sacrificing our Meat Hook Massacre, and Greater Tanuki's not going to die. Goodbye. Loot. Gain life. I have not gotten rid of multi this many Avabrut caretakers in a match in my entire lifetime. With Soul Shattering Caretaker and Battle of Frost and Fire and bringing it back, all at the brink of death and despair, being at one life. Take action. That is a binding that we can get back out of the graveyard. This card is really good, chat. Spirit Sisters Call. Roll back later, sure. If I Infernal Grasp, and then they respond to Infernal Grasp, they, it means they pay two, play two spells this turn, which means Celestis triggers again, so I'm going to do this. You're enchanted with your green white enchantment deck. Hey look, they play two spells in a turn, just like I said they would. Boom. And then I do this. Six five trampler. Draw a card. <laughs> and then I'm gonna loot. My turn. Take action. Discard Branch Off Pathway. Draw another card. Scry 3. <laughs> Give me the cards! Play. Huge card. Fast. I'll go Death Cap Glade here. What a lot of people don't know is you can swap your lands. So I go Death Cap Glade, and then I'll get rid of this regular block so I have an additional green. And then that means I can I, I can behold the multiverse this turn as well. Because it like technically like pseudo untaps a land if your land goes to the graveyard. Yes! Wonderfully gross. Mmm.
What does Thieves Tools do again? Am I am I killing the wind robber here? Probably not. Build my only copy of Spirit Sister. Can't arrest my turtle and my tanuki upon it. But I can I can get back my Kami War or Spirit Sisters call. I don't have white mana though. What you got? Yikes. If they draw an untapped land, then they can Zerathan. Take a couple payoffs. Alright, so what I can do here is I can regrowth back the Spirit Sister's Call, and then I can sack the Meat Hook Massacre to bring back the Kami War. But I think it's better to just do this this turn.
Let's go. Comedy War, too hot to handle. Too hot. Oh, this hand's pretty good. We go white, and then we go black, and then we have green mana here. Well, yeah, I know. I know Hearthstone's not like Alchemy because the games are fundamentally different. There's no blocking. The attacks are different. Like the whole game is fundamentally different. So, like, yeah, it, it's true to say that Alchemy is nothing like is nothing like Hearthstone because the games are di they're completely different games. And there's also no instant speed interaction. But like, that's not what we're talking about, though. We're not. We're not even. We're not talking about like. We're not, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about if you like that style of play and the style of cards that that that, that those cards are, not the actual way to play the game. They play the blink cards, so we. Uh, I think I want to just power a kill now. Like, I'm definitely not talking about the fact that you can attack your opponent's creatures. There's no taunt or whatever. There's no, you know, you know what I mean. There's no, like, rush or... You know, Rush is just not in the game of magic, because you don't attack each other's creatures. But it's like... It's not as close as you can get to Hearthstone Alchemy, but it's still like... Kind of in the... In the same vein. Trying to draw a land there. Yeah, well, it's it saying like you might as well play Hearthstone is a little bit of a stretch. But you know what the you know what the what should be say said instead of you might as well play Hearthstone, you can always play a different format. Nobody says that you have to play alchemy. I understand if you're a historic only player, it could be a little bit frustrating because the alchemy changes affect historic, but they've already said that they've heard the people and want to change that. They've already said that. I can Sky Turtle in Power Word, but that doesn't really help me get towards red mana. Well, yeah, but at that point, we can't we can't just assume that people are lying now. I could go for bottoming Power Word, drawing the Binding, and hope to draw an Untap Land. A little risky, though. A little bit scary here. What's going on?
Oh, please feel to ruin me. So we just soul shatter here to use our mana better. They can do Arena Pioneer or Pioneer Masters and still work their way to full Pioneer. That was the thought that I had. Like, why not? Why not just let the players know that it's not going to be a hundred percent Pioneer, and then just add cards to it over time. Crap, they have Dra Graveyard Trespasser. Alright, can I draw a Sweeper, please? Well, I have one. I just need to draw Red Mana. Red Mana, please. Okay. I have more blue mana in my deck than I have red, so why don't I just get red now? There we go! Playing the odds like a champion. Well, now they just get to hive the eye tower on us, but we have power word kill next turn for that. It's been two years since they said they'd bring Pioneer to Arena. It has to be a good percent done. I don't think it has to be a good percent done. They just allocated dip their resources for Pioneer into Alchemy and other things. So they could have... Like, you have to think about the that, about the fact that they're people. And if you're if a, if a person is working on, on Alchemy or other things, it doesn't mean that they're also working on Pioneer. Whether or not you think that's a good idea or not is a different story. But people can only do certain a certain amount of things, you know what I mean? I need to keep my power word kill for that hive, right? No, because I can just bounce it. You can bounce the hive with Sky Turtle. I need to draw a land. Bust that bank. Alright, so this gives us an opportunity to power word kill the hive of the eye tyrant. Do we care if it exiles something? I think I just don't want them to use that card that says if it dies, it comes back. Oh, 
Oh, they're getting rid of that? Sure. It would take like 60 cards to bring Pioneer back to Arena in a functional way. I don't I don't I don't think I disagree with that. A lot of busting banks, chat. All right, Edgar's annoying. So what I can do here is I can battle Frost and Fire, the Edgar. I mean, I could just bounce the Edgar back to hand, but... I think I battle in Frost and Fire the Edgar here. It becomes a thing. They get a 1-1. One, one. Try to draw land. This can attack. I didn't think about the interaction between two different record or bank busters. That's pretty good. One can make the 1-1, one, one, the other one can swing. And then this next turn, I can binding the Edgar over here. Oh my gosh. Battle can I get the battle and frost, frost and fire back? Okay, I drew it. How <laughs> many war, test of talents, death cap blade. I think I want all of these. This kills the wolf too. The light is insufferable. We will smart I gems. I guess I can Colossal Sky Turtle back one of these. Redane. What I can do is I can get Spirit Sisters Call and get back my binding and binding the Edgar. No, I can't do that yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana.
I can Colossal Sky Turtle back the Raidane. And then I can Binding the Edgar and then hold up Test of Talents. Oh my god! That works on artifacts! Oh my gosh, that's insane! Wow! Oh my gosh! And it comes back with... Oh my goodness gracious, that was insane! And I couldn't test the talents it because it's a channel ability! Oh, that was broken! Wow. Yikes. And now I think I'm dead? Am I dead? No, I'm not dead yet. Holy crap. That was actually insane. I'm not dead yet, but I'm pretty darn freaking close to it. If they have another touch of spirit realm, I'll be like super upset. Bring back Battle of Frost and Fire. Please don't have this card again. Vanishing Verse, Test of Talent. Vanishing Verse this. I will Test of Talent your Vanishing Verse. Legion Angel, Wedding Announcement, Another Touch, Go Blank, Trespasser, Bank Buster, Duress. They're probably going to be siding out their Vanishing Verses after this game. That's a problem. Okay. Play this. Tommy War this Go to one
And then when I go to one... Well, then next turn I can sacrifice the binding to get back a chump blocker for the one one. Um, are we stabilizing though? Return this to the hand, they discard their last card. I can't kill this card. Wait, no, no, I can, I can block it with the Bank Buster token. Then I get my chump blocker. His record of Bankbuster gets a 1 1 pilot. Why the heck did it tap my blue mana? Well, I guess I have this anyway. The treasure. I also have a little bit, of, like only six minutes left on the clock. Five minutes left? <laughs> Can I win in five minutes? Okay, I'm glad they scooped now. Alright, how about we not fight with each other, guys? I'm okay I'm okay with healthy discussions, but let's not fight, okay? Fighting is for babies. I'm gonna do this now because they play that freaking Dumb channel card. Oh, the game's going pretty well, pretty well. The last game was a really good example of what this deck's trying to do. Wedding announcement, that's really annoying. Hold the multiverse. We are going to ramp. Green, black, white, blue. Ramp with greater Tanuki. Next turn, behold the multiverse.
Yikes. Well, listen, if someone gifts Koons to sub and wants to see Koons deck, then I can play it since you'll be sub. Or if you redeem the Choose My Deck award reward, then I can do that too. Choose My Deck lets me play the deck. Test of Talents, Behold the Multiverse. Huh. This? This. Which you do when you get enough candy. That is true, Coons. That is true. Gotta get gotta get more candy. Gotta get them rare candies. Duress. I guess that'll be a test of talents. I really need to draw a sweeper though. So I'm just gonna let them get my test of talents, I guess. Can I use Choose My Deck for Koons? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do that, we'll do that one tomorrow. Sleeper, please. I have so many sleepers in this deck right now. All right, here we go. But th hopefully they don't have the channel card a couple times in a row. Please don't have the channel card. What's up, Bolt Snap Bolt? What would you like to know? What advice would you like to get? Wolf. Okay. Second Battle of Frost and Fire is really good here, unless they have duress right now. You require my aid. Perfect. Meat hook. Perfect. Let's go. Meat hook, binding, rhymewood. Let's go ahead and go binding first. Then I draw binding, I play it. Next turn, draw meat hook, and then shuffle this back. Blue? Metal? Goodbye, Lolf. <laughs> At least there is blood on your hands. Sub oh my god, Guy in the Skull, thank you so much for gifting Koons to sub. Alright, so that's two then. There's a Choose My Deck from Jarvis Moonbeam, and you can use your free one now. Another wedding? I need to use my bindings for the weddings. But now they're too expensive. Meat hook, Tanuki, Tanuki. I need to keep the Tanukis on top because I only have two minutes in this game. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, I can I can meet hook for four. Graveyard Trespasser. Crap. I need to kill my opponents. Alright, so I play Greater Tanuki. I draw two, discard a card. And then I have two mana left. Vanishing Burst me, though. Perfect, thank you. Now they can't Vanishing Burst my Tanuki. One, two, boom, 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 boom. Just in case I draw Test of Talents or Negate or something. Do that. Okay, those two. Does that work? Okay, discard this. I have a minute and 50 seconds left. They use their Vanishing Verse, now they can't Vanishing Verse Greater Tanuki, and now I just have to attack a couple times in a run win. Lolf? Yo, what I love to see. You'll love to see it. 
not really. Okay. So what I can do is I can meat hook for two. Well, they're attacking with this. Sure thing, Jelly Bean. Um. This goes to two. It goes to five. I can meat hook for two. It doesn't really do anything. Let's do this. Um. This does that. They get a draw. I draw a land. I do this. I do um uh, Kami War here. I attack Lolf. Sure. Shift enter. And I the generous one. Then I can bounce their 4-4 and discard a card. Land Tanuki. Finding. This. Attack. Go. One top deck, what you got? Dead in two. Duress, meat hook, bye. I go. Pass. Win. Win the game. What you got? Huh? Let's go. 43 seconds left. Bog? Ridding? Sure. Power kill? 38, 37? Dash touch creatures. Raider Tanuki Lethal! Tanukis! I always knew this common would come in handy. 6 5 trample for the win. Let's freaking go. Attack for 18. Uh, the salt rope. <laughs> oh my gosh. There are a lot of decision trees, Drellers Moonbeam. Imagine if that saga trigger had cost you two seconds you didn't have. Don't remind me, guy in the skull. That's why I clicked decline on it instead of getting a land. Oh, yeah. You'll love to see it. All right, Jamers, you've seen my favorite deck post the new set with the Kami War in a control shell. We absolutely annihilated people, and I really hope you get the chance to annihilate people too. Thanks for watching this deck, and as always, leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. Liking is more important, by the way. It helps it reach more people, and that's the plan. Right now... Thank you guys for hanging out this long. I really appreciate every single one of you that hung out that hung out here. Um, we are going to be starting up um, our join feature. If you'd like to join and influence the uh, which decks that I play for you guys on YouTube. Also, check out the Discord. Links down in there in the description. Where we talk every single day about magic, whether it's standard, alchemy, historic, whatever it is. So have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. And as always, peace. Look that over there. Right there, click it.